हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू योर ओन चैनल फूड टेक नेटवर्क माय नेम इज अनुज शर्मा आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग गुड इन द कंटिन्यूएशन टू प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ फ्रूट सीरीज विल टुडे टेक अप द केस ऑफ फ्रूट बेवरेजेस एंड विल आल्सो डिस्कस वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट बेवरेज दैट इज क्वेश सो लेट अस बिगिन फ्रूट बेवरेजेस टॉपिकल कंट्रीज लाइक इंडिया हैव अ वास्ट स्कोप ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग डेलीशियस कोल्ड ड्रिंक्स ड्यूरिंग हॉट समर पर्टिकुलरली द फ्रूट बेवरेजेस due to increased consumer awareness with respect to quality safety and health and also nutrition these fruit beverages are becoming more and more popular and are gradually acquiring a chunk of the market share of cold drinks given the fact that we indians live in a country which lies in a tropical area we know that we experience a, a lot many months which are very hot so we have a good market scope for cold drinks and these cold drinks have a section of fruit based beverages which are not just appetizing to taste and which can quench your thirst in a hot summer day but also are nutritious healthy and tasty that makes fruit beverages an important market opinion to the customers fruit beverages are easily digestible highly refreshing thirst quenching appetizing and nutritionally far more superior to the synthetic aerated drinks like colas fruit beverages can be classified as fermented and unfermented or non fermented beverages in this practical however we only deal with unfermented beverages which do not undergo any alcoholic fermentation and in the later videos we'll talk about the fermented beverages like wine vinegar etc so first of all let us see what all raw materials and equipments to be need to make a particular fruit beverage a particular non fermented fruit beverage so first of all of course the fruit or vegetable which we are going to choose to make the beverage is needed next we need sugar as an important ingredient we also need a peeler which is uh, which will be used to remove the peels a juicer that is going to convert the fruit tissues into fine juice pulper which is going to make pulp out of the fruits fiber cloth or sieve which can be used to filter or sieve these pulp pans of suitable size for mixing heaters for concentration or pasteurization and other such thermal operations thermometer to check the temperature we also need crown corking or capping machine to ultimately fill the beverage in a bottle and cap it and once we cap it we'll need corks and caps sterilizer pasteurizer as discussed earlier volumetric flask in the qc lab measuring cylinder weighing balance potable water etc now we also need some chemicals and reagents like hydrochloric acid for cleaning and all citric acid ascorbic or ascorbic acid for maintaining the acidity potassium metabisulfite as a preservative and sodium benzoate again as a preservative so now let us see what are the general methods of preparation of any fruit juice the general process for the preparation and preservation of unfermented fruit beverages is as follows you can see over your screens first of all we need to select only fully ripe and quality fruits care should be taken not to include either over ripe or under ripe fruits as it affects the final product quality we need to sort and reject or trim the diseased damaged or decayed fruits we need to wash them properly with water or dilute hydrochloric acid and the range or the ratio should be one part acid with 20 parts of water one ratio 20 so that we can remove dirt and spray of residues uh, like uh, spray residues like arsenic lead etc which were used to preserve or extend the shelf life of the fruits we then extract the juice from fresh fruits by crushing and pressing them with the use of suitable juice extractors basket presses or fruit pulpers fruits which require preheating should be preheated before extraction We then strain and filter the juice to remove suspended matter consisting of broken fruit tissues, seeds, skin, etc., and then clarify the juice if required using a suitable method like gravity separation, sedimentation, centrifugation, etc. 
and sometimes chemical means are also used as in the case of sugarcane juice. We then fortify the juices with vitamins to enhance their nutritive value or to improve taste, texture, color and to replace nutrients lost in processing if at all required. The preservation could be by physical methods like pasteurization or sterilization that is a thermal treatment or by chemical preservatives as discussed earlier. Wash bottles thoroughly with hot water and fill them leaving a space of 1.5 to 2.5 cm that is what we call headspace. We then need to seal with crown cogs by a crown caulking machine or with caps with a capping machine. Now uh, let us discuss about uh, one of the mo most important fruit based beverage that is known as squash. So squash should contain at least 25% fruit juice. So these standards make fruit beverage a particular kind of. So once we are going to make squash, we need to have at least 25% of fruit juice or fruit pulp. And overall we need to maintain 40 to 50% of total soluble solids commercially. So two things you need to keep in mind, 25% fruit juice and 40 to 50% TSS about 1% citric acid and 350 parts per million sulfur dioxide or 600 parts per million sodium benzoate are added as preservatives. Let us see how is squash prepared. For the preparation of say uh, 10 liters of squash, we need to follow this procedure. First of all, we need to uh, calculate the amount of juice required as per the commercial specification. So as I said earlier, uh, we need to have 25% of juice and 25% of 10 liter of squash should have 2.5 liters of fruit juice. So the first step is 2.5 liters. Now if we tell the TSS that is to be maintained, so we already know the TSS if suppose it comes out to be 30%, then the total solids will be 2.5 into 0 0.3 that is 0 0.75 kg that means that in this particular fruit juice which we have we have around 0 0.75 kg of solids we know how did we calculate we multiplied the volume with the percent of solids that is 30 now we also know that the final tss required for the preparation of squash says 50 percent then we need to add in more solids so that the total tss is attained so to do that we need to uh, require what amount of sugar is needed to be added or solids are needed to be added so the tss required to be added to obtain the final product is 0 0.5 into 10 because the final product will have a uh, volume of 10 liters as i said and since 50 percent is the tss so 0 0.5 into 10 minus what we have now we just calculated you must have seen 0 0.75 kg so this is going out to be 4.25 kg so this much is something we need to add more now the amount of soluble solids in the form of citric acid and kms is also need to needed to be calculated now we know that one percent citric acid is added so for 10 liters one percent is going to be 100 gram or 0 0.1 kg if you calculate it you'll get to know and even if we use preservative say 600 ppm of sulfur dioxide that is equivalent to 1.5 gram per liter of kms so and uh, after that uh, we need uh, if we do this we'll have a uh, amount of 9 gram that is 0 0.009 kg now we need to calculate what amount of sugar is needed to be added so 4.25 which was the additional solid amount uh, we subtract this 0 0.1 plus 0 0.009 from it and we get 4.141 kg so we'll add 4.141 kg of sugar to make this 10 liter of squash so in this you can see the flow chart first of all we take the fruits we then wash the fruits we trim off the things adhering to it and peel it if needed then the fruits are cutted or grated the juice is extracted Straining is done to remove unnecessary fibers and uh, unnecessary large sized particles. Then we measure the TSS of juice. After that, we prepare the syrup in which the juice will be added. So sugar, water, acid uh, is done and heating is done just to dissolve it, not through any other operation. After that, we strain the syrup and mix it with the juice. We at the last add 
the preservative which we have chosen it could be benzo 8 or it could be sulfur dioxide or kms and once it's done we'll bottle it in sterilized bottles cap it using a corking or capping machine now let us see this example Now let us see this example. Suppose that you have around 100 liters of squash to be made and the juice you are given has a TSS of say 25 degree bricks. Now you are needed to make the calculation for all the necessary uh, ingredients like water sugar kms and citrate now let us see how do we solve such numericals so first of all we know we had need to know the required quantity of the thing that is needed to be made so we need to make 100 liters of squash and the amount we know already know that the amount of uh, juice in any amount of squash is equals to 25 percent so 25 percent of 100 liters is going to be 25 liters like 25 percent of 100 liter is 25 liter of fruit juice now we have 25 liter of fruit juice therefore the amount of water will be 75 liter because we need to make a total of 100 liter of the squash now out of this 25 liter let us calculate what all is already present so it has been given that the tss is 25 degree bricks so in this 25 liter we already have amount of solid that is equivalent to 25 percent and once we solve this out we'll get 6.25 so in this 25 kgs we have 6.25 kgs of solids already present so we need to make the calculations for the remaining amount so once you decrease the already present solid that is 6.25 now also we know the fact that every squash has to have 40 percent of solids so out of the 100 liters there needs to be 40 kg solids now if I already have 6.25 kgs, what extra amount do I need? So 40 minus 6.25. So if you calculate this, this will come out to be 33.75 kg. So this 33.75 kg is the additional solid which we need to add. But what all do we need to make it? We need, we need sugar, we need acid and we need the preservative that is KMS. So let's make calculations for each of them so first of all for sugar sugar will be equivalent to total solids which are needed minus the sum of uh, masses of acid and preservative so for acid we know that one percent is the citrate concentration needed for making squash so for 100 liters one percent is going to be 1 kg so you're going to add 1 kg of citric acid in a 100 liter batch now about this preservative we know that as discussed in the previous parts uh, around 0 0.9 gram is added in 1 liter so to make 100 liters we'll need to add around 90 grams this is equal to if you convert it into kg 0 0.09 kgs or almost equal to 0 0.1 kg right now since we already know the calculations for acid as well as sugar so sugar is equals to total solid needed that is if we go back you can see we need in total 33.75 kgs so out of this we'll subtract 
प्लस जीरो पॉइंट वन सो थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट सेवन फाइव माइनस वन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट वन सो इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज माइनस बिकॉज अल्टीमेट इट विल बी प्लस एडेड ऑन सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट सेवन फाइव माइनस वन पॉइंट वन सो वॉट इज इट गोइंग टू बी थर्टी टू पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव सो टू मेक हंड्रेड लीटर्स ऑफ स्क्वैश विथ द जूस गिवन हैविंग ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री ब्रिक्स कंसेंट्रेशन वी नीड टू एड जीरो पॉइंट वन के जी ऑफ प्रिजर्वेटिव दैट इज के एम एस वन के जी ऑफ सिट्रेट एंड अराउंड थ्री टू पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव के जी ऑफ शुगर सो दिस इज हाउ वी मेक द कैलकुलेशन इफ गिवन इन एनी इंपॉर्टेंट पेपर सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट टू डेज वीडियो विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन पिन दम डाउन इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन विल बी मोर देन हैप्पी टू हेल्प यू आउट बाय